Thanks for spending part of your time with us here on Minnesota Live. For our latest edition of Breakfast with Megs and Eggs, Chris is live at the Band Box Diner in downtown Minneapolis. Hi, Chris. Hey, Meg. Well, we are in a working uh, kitchen, let me tell you that right now. Uh, in fact, I am being given this receipt. I need to yell the order back to the owner, Brad Patachik. Uh Two eggs. American fries. Uh, American fries, meat. Yeah, turkey sausage. Turkey sausage, and then two eggs, one cake, American fries. Got it. This isn't acting. This actually really just happened. Yeah. The little <laughs> things right over here. I'm oh, trying to. The ticket. I'm trying to stay out of Brad's way. Oh, I see. I put the ticket in the wrong place. That's why you know this wasn't reversed. <laughs> so Brad's making the American fries right now, and while he's doing that, we're gonna let him work, obviously. But we've got a microphone on him, and Brad, tell me a little bit about the history behind this place and how you've gone from really barely surviving to thriving. Barely surviving? Um, we've always had pretty good, steady clientele. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the pandemic shut us down and everything. So we've been regrouping since then, but it's been going great. Um, and you've really had to kind of rethink a little bit about how you do business in the in the post-pandemic world. And it sounds like things have gone very well. Yeah, we try to simplify it and keep it simpler, cut the menu down. Um, products aren't as easy to get and aren't yeah. as steady, you know? Yep. And so we try to keep it simpler, try to keep it streamlined, try to be able to recoup some other way if we have to. Sure. Um, and also, streamline the staff down and try to pump out as much as we can with the few people. Yep, and which means that's why he's working. He's not out here uh, working the crowd right now. He's working the grill. And um, a place like this that's so very small, where you can see things are coming and going. <laughs> that's the magic of it, right? It was designed to be this way when during World War II, they decided to come up with this concept, which again, at the time, Americans were really into eating out and they really loved the whole diner vibe. And so that is exactly what they've got going on right here. Now Brad left me. I'm not exactly where he should, I'm not exactly sure where he went. But I'm back. There he is. He's back <laughs> with the sausage. So he's doing prep work here because he basically wants to have an entire grill full of American fries so he doesn't get behind and have to make every single one of those orders one by one. So he's got an entire stockpile of food that's waiting right here. It's good to go. And then you are just serving it up hot and fresh. That's kind of how it works, yeah. This place, maybe uh, folks might recognize the band box, uh, featured in Mighty Duck, one of the Mighty yep, Ducks movies. Yeah, in the first movie. And I think in the second movie, they all met out front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you were here then? I was in the neighborhood. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I lived on the block. So, and you've been here since 1998. 98. Why did you decide that this was going to be your thing? Because you came from more of a, a major uh, restaurant type background, right? right? More of a chef, uh, chef-driven nouveau restaurant. I yep. mean, we were the first place uh, to have uh, free-range chicken on our menu. Okay, there you go. You know, we did a bunch of crazy things like that back then, and it got to be a lot of work, and. I got a little, I don't know, tired of it all. Yeah. I thought uh, this might be a good thing to do. You know, a little more. At that time, it was only open 7 to 2. Yeah. At that time, the place was open. I had the bakery running overnight. Oh, sure. So I was constantly, I had staff and everything. So I thought it'd be nice to just have streamlined yeah. hours. And it's in, all right here. Drink coffee, talk to people. Yeah, so I can see you're really kicking back, right? And, and, and you know what I mean? <laughs> and it seemed like, you know, a good thing to do, you know? Oh, it's uh, it's the, the now, coolest. It's, oh, go ahead. Well, I can't believe it's 20 years, you know? I feel kind of like Mr. Hooper on Sesame Street. I was just going to say. Now, you know, because they see all these kids grow up, and now they got their yep, kids, and now yep, they got their kids. Yep, that's you Megan, know, to give you an idea about what kind of And that's maybe place. like, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. So he's got this vibe. There's giant windows out every direction, and people just walk by. Wave. And they're waving at Brad, and Brad's waving back while he's working. So uh, it's a real community feel. We're not done here yet. And of course, 
I've got to taste some of those American fries. So uh, we'll do that a little bit later here this morning, Megan. Okay. It sounds sounds good. We can't wait to uh, check back in with you. I think you're going to chat with the woman, too. He's been going to the band box for, for years now. So we're excited to hear uh, why she loves it so much as well. Thanks, Chris.